I'm so glad you stopped on by. You have one thing at least in common that we have, and that's the love and appreciation of music. So let's keep supporting musicians out there and gaining them exposure and notoriety that they deserve. Just like imagine if it was you, wouldn't you love some type of support like that? That being said, this is dark December that has descended upon Taz and Philly. So you might be surprised by Krampus or the Grinch or Scrooge every once in a while throughout this channel and the videos. I can't be controlled and responsible for what might happen. Um, but we still need to give you what you come here for, which is reactions. So this is a special reaction because I reacted to this uh, wonderful young lady for the first time, Aurora. And I was pleasantly surprised. I didn't know anything about her. So many of you have responded and many of you had mentioned certain song suggestions and so forth. So one of the ones that stood out to me because the comment was was very nicely well written and they appreciated the reaction. So thank you. Um, and they had mentioned this song, if I could please react to this song. So this is a surprise shout out that goes to Lil M. So thank you, Lil M. Thank you for coming into the comments. And I'm glad that um, my first initial reaction was something that you enjoyed. Um, we keep it real and authentic here. That's what we pride on on this channel. The song you requested or you mentioned is Through the Eyes of a Child. This is live at the, I'm not going to pronounce it. It's live. <laughs> but um, haven't seen it yet because we don't pre-watch anything. That takes away that sheer surprise factor. So I don't know what to expect. So this will be the second song I'm reacting to her. Let us know in the comments because we want to hear from you. We want to know your thoughts. Um, what is one thing out of the many, I'm sure, one thing that you really love and adore about Aurora? I've learned a lot in the comments, and some of you had mentioned that initially she was scared to go up on stage and nervous when she would perform, and she's gotten better with that. And some of you, or one of you had mentioned like that her mother had got her into this, you know. So imagine that if her mother didn't didn't initiate it, where would Aurora be today? Um, a lot of you said she's very poetic and magical and um, intelligent. Uh, so we appreciate that. And another one of you had said that she experienced the world in different ways. Uh, so that's also beautiful because that's variety is the spice of life. Imagine if we all imagined and envisioned the world the same way, like we were all clones. So it's nice to have a little variety, a little perspectives, a little different ways of thinking of things, you know. So um, nonetheless, let us, let us get into this. If you can't purchase her music, please do the gift of free subscribing to her channel and liking and commenting to her songs. Also, please spread this to your other social media sites. We want to try to gain more exposure and notoriety to the musicians out there in the world that we love. So let me shut the hell up. Let's hear what this song is all about. And I will commentate a little bit later. And if you stay tuned and hang in there, you hear what I have to say. Hold on. Scars we cover up with paint Watch them preach in sour lies I would rather see the world Through the eyes of a child Through the eyes of a child Darker times will come and go Times you need to see her smile And mother's hands are warm and mild I would rather feel the world through the skin a child through the skin of a child
I would rather be alive with a child like soul with a child like soul. Don't you please don't leave me here. Oh, my goodness, wow. Woo! Letting it linger. I'm like lost for words, people. Ooh. I'm just taking it all in. Like, wow. <sighs> taking it all in, keeping it real, people. Like, this is my first time watching it as I'm recording this. You might have all seen this like a million trillion times already. I've seen it once. And it's it was an experience. Like her breath, the way that she spaced everything out, like it's it's like if I could visually see the 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 musicians and her taking the notes and the chords and the the the, the lyrics and stuff and stretching it out like string cheese. That's what it felt like. Like they stretched it out beautifully, mind you, and you they allowed you to just soak in the song and like that the spacing and. I don't know if I'm using the right word. I'm not a musician, but the spacing of everything, it just really allows it to permeate through you. And like, I was thinking I was a damn child, you know, like we all should have the little children versions of ourselves still within us because sometimes you want to revert back to that. I always thought that. I always thought that whenever I want to be silly and have fun and, and when I not when I want to like not worry about stuff for that day and I just want to like just live life, that's the younger child to be coming out. I've already been this way. So now hearing a song that's basically talking about this, like through the eyes of a child. Um, is it eyes of a child or mind of a child? Yeah, through the eyes of the child, she says, I'm like, oh, that's already me. But it goes to show like there are people out there that may not already be thinking like this. They may think, oh, I'm an, I'm an adult. I only must do adult things. Well, yes, in a sense, yes. But sometimes when, they, when they're talking about the children version, it's like to have the, some of the qualities of a child is like having um, beliefs, um, um, having hopes, um, not taking things seriously, you know, just being carefree. Uh, being fun and witty and giddy and, and, and happy, like those type of things. Because sometimes as adults, we take things too serious. Sometimes we have to, you know, got bills to pay, things to do that are 
that require you to like keep focus. But sometimes you just need to exhale. Sometimes you need to have a little bit of fun. That's why people like go to the movies or go like a walk in the park or go to Disneyland, whatever. Sometimes you need that escapism. And those are qualities of like a kid. Um, so I just love how she emphasized that. And she has a song about that because maybe somebody might hear this song and be like, oh, wow. Yeah, I should start thinking through the eyes of a child. You know, you, you may be a grown up now, an adult, but that doesn't mean you should just squash and get rid of all the, the childlike qualities that you had. The one thing I miss about being a kid, though, is I didn't have to pay for any bills. Facts. I miss that part. I wish I could have that childlike quality. Like <laughs> Somebody else pay my damn bills. Um, but yeah, keeping it real. So that was just so beautiful, so eloquent. And <laughs> hey, I'm going to share something with you because we keep it real here. I am six foot five, 355 pounds. The reason I'm saying that is because this song had such buoyancy and, and it, it felt so light and lightweighted. It felt like it was lifting me up. Like at some points I was like looking up in my own head and this song was just like picking me up and just carrying me through like the clouds. It was that type of lightness and, 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 and like let all of your problems and stuff go for the moment through the eyes of a child. It felt like it was lifting me up. So if it could lift my big ass up, like that says something about a damn song. So <laughs> hope you can relate. Have there been songs that just make you feel light and carefree without any problems? And you just feel like you're just floating in a musical note, iambic pentameter. I don't know what the hell I'm saying, but this girl is good. So thanks Lil M for for requesting this song. Some others have requested it too. Um, so one of you said that Aurora's rabbit hole is deep. Get ready for your imagination. I'm like, okay, this is the second song. I'm ready. I'm ready to burrow through more. <laughs> so uh, let us know your thoughts in the comments. I would love to know if someone never heard the song before and if you heard it for the first time here. That happens sometimes, and I love that because nobody can take that away from me. You saw it for the first time here. But even if you haven't even seen it already, just let us know your thoughts, how this song made you feel when you first heard it. Um, and let us know your thoughts now if you've watched it again. And, um, and then let us know my damn reactions. Hopefully you agree or you have your perspective on, on something. We, we're not clones, so... I love to hear other people's perspectives on how a song made them feel. It might feel be different than my thoughts, but yeah, it made me feel like carefree and to not always take things so seriously. Sometimes you need to escape into your childhood thoughts, even if it's for a moment, um, just to reset. Yeah, there we go. Reset your day-to-day -day adult life. So uh, yeah. All right, well, this is the part of the show we do our thumbs up pass if we like a song, thumbs down ass if you don't like a song. If you were paying attention, thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up, Aurora. Aurora, I don't know if you'll ever see this reaction, but if you do, know that you are special, you are amazing, you are helping heal people, educate people, give them different thought processes, and that's a wonderful thing. Because sometimes we need to know that we're not alone or we're not thinking about something by ourselves or we need to learn something, whatever. Or we need to just have fun. So, yeah. Uh, all right. Well, thanks for tuning in. Um, I hope that you survived the channel. And uh, Dark December is still amongst us. So I want you all to take it easy and keep it breezy. <laughs>